What do you do when you're all alone without a friend in creative? Summon a friend. So this is going to be part of the carpet mod. So you do need the carpet mod uh, either on your single player world to do this in single player or on a server in order to use this on a server. But carpet mod actually allows you to spawn in players that are uh, quote unquote bots. You know, they just kind of do what you tell them to and they have a few commands. So this is really useful and creative for when you want to test a farm, especially for a long period of time. And especially if you're on a CMP and you want to test it for that long period of time and kind of go off and do something else. So you can build it on your CMP, get a bot in place to do whatever you need to do, whether it's attacking or mining or just loading the area. And then you can go off and do your own thing. So I'm going to run through some of the basic commands for the bots in Carpet. First, we need the command to get the bot spawned in. And you're going to use the slash player command in Carpet in order to do these. So in order to spawn a player, we need slash player and then the player name and spawn. So you can spawn something, you know, like ice or gold farm. You can name it whatever you want. If it's an account that doesn't exist, it'll be Alex. But if you pick an account that does exist... you're actually going to get their skin joining the game. If I want to remove that player from the game then, or remove that bot, I can do the slash player, player name kill. It's going to remove them from the game. You can also give them items to pick up by dropping it with them. These bots are going to spawn in whatever mode that you are in when you write the command. So right now this MoCraft bot is in creative mode. We can change that player to survival just by typing in the name. And we should note that if we use the kill command to remove a player, it treats it as logging off. So they're not going to drop anything. They're going to keep their inventory. But if the bot actually dies through natural means, then they are going to drop their inventory. When a bot spawns in, it's going to spawn in in the direction and angle that you're looking at. If you wanted to look at some place in particular, you can give it a command to do that. So I can give it uh, one of the cardinal directions to look at, or I can give it coordinates with the at command. And then we can even give that bot commands to use its inventory. So we can do an attack continuous command. And now that bot is just always going to be uh, acting as if it's holding down its left mouse button. If we want that bot to stop what it's doing, we can just give it the stop command. If we want the bot to attack or use on an interval, we can do player, player name, attack, interval and then the number of game ticks for each interval so at 20 game ticks that's one second if you had like a um, haste beacon you could do 11 and when we run that command the player is just continually going to attack over and over again every 20 game ticks if you have a problem with a bot picking up your items you can fill up that bot's inventory I like to use just Acacia Boat because it's the first thing that comes up when you hit tab and then you just need to give them 35 because they're unstackable. And then he won't be able to pick up items anymore. Oh, make sure you protect your bots. Sorry, Fox. You could also have the bot get into a minecart with the mount command. And then have them get back out of the minecart with this mount. And if you want them to equip armor, you can actually change the hotbar slot that they're holding. So in this case, I'll do player getting your hotbar two, and then player getting your use. Then I can go back to my sword with player getting your hotbar one. It's important to note that after you log out of a single player world and log back on, all the bots will be gone. Same thing for if you restart a server, but as long as you don't restart a server, those bots would stay. There are a few other commands. You can look through those when you have the carpet mod. I'm not going to go through exactly all of them, but bots are really useful for if you want to set a farm to run for a while, like I said earlier. They're also used a lot on technical servers because things like that attack interval 11, those will be every 11 game ticks on the server side. So sometimes you can have issues on the client side, but the server is going to sync up with those bots because that's logged in on the server. Or these are really nice if you just need a player to AFK or mob farm for testing and uh, you want to maybe go into spectator take a look at some stuff down at the farm just remember spectator does still have a can spawn sphere so you can't stand right in the middle of the farm and spectator and expect stuff to spawn around you but you don't have a despawn sphere around you then 
So check out the player command in the carpet mod. Really useful, especially for creative stuff. Or a lot of technical servers using carpet will also allow bots uh, to load certain farms that you don't want to have players AFKing, having their computer up and running all night. They just let you just load a bot and have that there overnight. There will be a link to the fabric carpet version down below in the video description, so you can grab that if you got fabric. Hope that was helpful. Catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.